Now there's a couple places on this page where we're actually seeing this loke.magnificent.com. We're seeing it up in the title bar, both in welcome to loke.magnificent.com, and then there's a pipe separating it from this, which says loke.magnificent.com. And then we're also seeing it in the page title here. So what's happening here is that the page title is actually being pulled into the title for the browser, and it's using the same one there. And then it's appending the site name, and the site name also displays here. Now this is the default page which is generated by Drupal automatically, and so it just pulls in whatever the site name is for the title. But as we change the home page, this page will disappear and we'll have our own content with its own title that will display in the browser title. Now we want to change this site name, but we don't want to leave it blank because of this section up here. We'd like it to say something about our company. So what we'll do is go ahead and change this title, but then we'll remove its display from the header. Okay, now as you may have guessed already, the place we want to go to is the appearance section. So let's go ahead and click that. And again, we're going to click the settings underneath our currently enabled theme, which is Bartik right now. And let's go ahead and scroll down. And we're going to come across this box that says toggle display. And it says enable or disable the display of certain page elements. So here, it looks like we can actually hide a number of things on our page. We want the logo, but the site name is what we want to hide. So let's go ahead and uncheck that and see if this does the trick. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and click Save Configuration. And then we need to go back to the home page in order to preview our change. I'm clicking on the home page. Okay, so we see that the site name is gone, but we also see that the logo is gone and it's been replaced by this home link.